Upon landing at a Roman encampment near Stonehenge, Amy and the doctor met River Song again. She showed them a long hidden painting by Vincent van Gogh, The Pandorica Opens, which depicted the doctor's TARDIS exploding and bore the current date and location encoded in place of the telephone instructions. In a cave below Stonehenge, they found the legendary Pandorica which bore a striking resemblance to the illustration of Pandora's box on the cover of Amy's favorite book from childhood. She was attacked by the disembodied head of a Cyberman. The Centurions turned out to be Ottens who believed themselves to be real, the first one of whom to volunteer to join River at Stonehenge was an Otten incarnation of the erased Rory Williams. Amy did not recognize him at first but gradually came to remember, finally embracing him and welcoming him to place the ring on her finger, the doctor having returned it to him in the cave. The Alliance activated the Ottens, including Rory who was unable to resist the programming to shoot Amy dead. Fortunately, the doctor promptly arrived via River's vortex manipulator, before Amy had fully died. He instructed Rory to free him from the Pandorica and place Amy inside to save her life. His younger self, free of the trap, helped Rory to seal Amy within it to keep her alive for the next two millennia. Over the doctor's objections, Rory opted to stay behind and ensure her safety, drew his sword and sat down to wait. In 118, Amy unknowingly traveled to Rome in the Pandorica, essentially unconscious. Rory continued to guard her. He was unable to keep the Pandorica from being taken by the Franks during a raid in 420 but ensured Amy's continued safety therein. By 1120, the Pandorica had become a prized possession of the Knights Templar, and it was donated to the Vatican in 1231. Sometime thereafter, it was sold by Marco Polo. All the while, the legend grew of the lone centurion who loyally guarded the box. The Pandorica was taken to London. The warehouse in which it was stored was set ablaze in 1941 during the German Blitz. It was found unscathed the next morning, a safe distance from the fire. Eyewitness accounts told of a man in Roman armor dragging the Pandorica to safety, the last sighting of the fabled lone centurion. By 1996, the Pandorica was on display at the National Museum in London.